Today, we are going to be talking about a topic that I know many of us have come to know and love, and that is Subaru's auto start stop system. Now, all jokes aside, I know that not too many people are fond of the auto start stop technology that is in modern cars. And today I wanna to shed some light on this system, this technology. We're gonna talk about what it is, how it operates, why it exists, the main reason it exists, as well as answer some myths, some talk about some myths around this technology because there's a lot of information floating around on the internet. And today I wanna to provide some clarity about the auto start stop and how it actually operates on your Subaru. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subaru related topics. So if you think you might enjoy that type of content moving forward, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. As always, if you all have questions or comments about suggestions on video topics you would like me to cover related to Subaru, leave that down below. I'll be happy to answer that for you. First, I'm gonna show you all what the auto start stop system is like in practice. And then we're gonna talk about all the details, why it exists, and how it actually operates. So in your Subaru or really almost any modern car nowadays, whenever you're driving along and you come to a complete stop with your foot pressed firmly on the brake, you might hear or feel that the engine shuts off. And then whenever you just slightly let your foot off the brake, before you even have an opportunity to hit the gas, the car restarts instantaneous. So that's exactly how this technology works. So why does this technology exist? Why is auto start stop in most of our modern cars now today? Well, myth number one is that it's in the car to save on gas. That's not actually the main reason, although that does help save fuel. That's not the main reason auto start stop exists. The main reason and goal of this technology is to decrease emissions, the amount of greenhouse gases that our cars are producing on a daily basis, primarily at idle. Come to find out when your car is shut off, it produces zero emissions. We've seen this with our battery electric hybrids and our EVs. And although your individual car may not make a significant impact collectively, when you think about hundreds or even thousands of cars stuck in traffic each and every day, this really adds up and becomes more and more significant on the impact that it has on our environment. And in terms of how significant this savings can be in the US, it is estimated that having the auto start stop technology saves roughly 10 million tons of greenhouse gases annually, which is also why most of the cars produced here in the US today have this technology on them, whether we like it or not. In 2016, just 9% of the cars sold in the US had this technology. And in 2022, up to 65% of the cars sold had the auto start stop in them. Myth number two is that auto start stop doesn't actually save any fuel. And that's because, or the argument is that whenever your car is shut off and then you release your foot off the brake and it restarts, it's using fuel. And it's true, it is using fuel to restart the car, but it was found by the US Department of Energy that if you idle your car for more than 10 seconds or longer, you're going to use more fuel than if you would have just shut the car off to begin with. So the amount of fuel that you use on restart is insignificant. It's very small in proportion to the amount that you are using idling. And most of the time when you're sitting in traffic, you're sitting in traffic for a lot longer than 10 seconds. You're probably sitting in there for a few minutes at least, sometimes 15, 20 minutes if it's really bad. And Subaru has a cool little feature that they've had for a few years now. Whenever you come to a complete stop, you will see an auto start stop calculator pop up on the dash. Now this shows that the auto start stop has collectively been off or the engine has been off for a little over 11 minutes and saved 0.056 gallons over the last 16 miles. And if you live in a heavily congested area, this number is going to be much more significant for you versus somebody who typically travels on the highway for their daily commute. This next one is going to require me to turn the AC on. I'm gonna roll the windows up here. And so myth number three is that having auto start stop interferes with your climate controls. And you know, when it's really hot, like today, it's 92 degrees. It feels like 100 though, on this black pavement. Whenever you come to a complete stop, your engine's gonna shut off and therefore your AC is no longer going to be blowing cold. Well, as you can see, I have the AC on right now. I even have it on low and the engine is still running. And that's because your car has sensors and technology that's smart enough to recognize that 
the ambient temperature is greater than the interior temperature of the car and therefore it's going to keep the engine on to continue blowing that air conditioning. Same thing in the winter time. If it's really cold outside and your car is not warmed up yet, the interior cabin's not warmed up, it's not going to shut your heat off. It's going to continue blowing that hot air and keep the engine running to do so. You also have full access to your radio, your navigation, all of your normal technology that you would otherwise have with the car on even when it's shut off. This system is designed to work with the flow of your regular daily driving and to not interrupt it. Myth number four is that auto start stop technology causes reliability issues with modern cars. Now, this is something that I can agree with people and say, yeah, at a glance, I would think that it would or should cause more issues. After all, you're doing more starts and stops. There's more of a risk of the car not turning on or additional wear and tear on the starter, the battery, and overall the motor and the components. Now, there are quite a few things they have done and engineered over the years on these cars to make them work as they should in most cases be more reliable than your older cars even accounting for the new technology one area or one main component is with your battery not only do they have larger batteries now but they also have a sensor connected to the negative terminal to determine voltage to determine if the battery has enough voltage to complete that start stop setup you also have upgraded starter motors so the starter motor is not like your cars without the auto start stop system this starter motor is designed for the consistent additional stops and starts should last for a long time just as much as your other starters and shouldn't go out prematurely because of that in addition to those upgraded mechanical components the car is constantly communicating with the system to determine if an auto start stop is necessary or is ideal. For example, if you just start up your car and your coolant temperatures are not up to the operating temperatures or even your oil temperatures are not up to operating temperatures, your auto start stop will not operate. Your car will not shut off the engine when those temperatures have not been met. And if you're curious, if you don't see this menu in your Subaru, just click on the arrows, either the left or right, to toggle over it. It's on the second screen right here at the very top of your Subaru's touchscreen display. After hearing all of this, if you still are not a fan of the auto start stop system and you wanna be able to turn it off or deactivate it, you can do so temporarily with this icon down here. So this little soft touch key, it has an A with an arrow circling it and it's lit up green. If you tap that, that will turn your Subaru's auto start stop system off and you can continue driving and it won't actually turn back on again until you manually restart the car. So if you turn the car off, and then you turn it right back on, you're gonna see this default back on. It's gonna be lit up green again. I will mention this briefly. It's not something I recommend, but I have heard of people here on YouTube, even people who have commented on my channel, telling me that they have a plugin that will deactivate that auto start stop and default it off. I don't personally use one. I don't know how it interferes with the car or how it may impact your warranty in the future with Subaru, so I don't recommend it. Also. If you don't like auto start stop and you want to buy a new Subaru that doesn't have it, there actually is one Subaru SUV. The Subaru Ascent, our third row SUV, does not have this technology. We also have the WRX that doesn't have this, and we have the BRZ, our two-door sports car. So these three cars, as of 2024, do not have the auto start stop technology. I'm not sure why that is. I'm sure there's different regulations around those size vehicles. That's my guess. If you know, let us know down in the comment section below. But yeah, if you want to skip out on the auto start stop, that is in the touchscreen display or on your new Subaru, those are the three cars to get. Personally, I use the auto start stop as it was intended. I don't actually turn it off, I leave it on, and now I hardly realize it's even there. Actually, my last car, it was a 2011 Honda CRZ. It was a hybrid. It had this technology, there was no on off switch. So I was really just forced to get used to it. And now that it's on my Subaru Outback, I'm already used to it. And I would encourage you, if you're skeptical about it or you haven't used it before, Drive a new modern car, whether it's Subaru, Honda, Toyota, any of them, because they're bound to have it now. Most cars now, as we talked about, have this technology and more and more cars are going to have it. So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to get used to it even if we don't like it. But I would, I would encourage you, go drive one, see for yourself. Over time, this is gonna be something that you're hardly going to notice. And at the end of the day, it's hard to deny the benefits that this has, the overall impact this has on the environment and our planet moving forward. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than normal. If you did, please remember to click the like button down below. As always, if you have comments, leave those down below. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.
After filming this video and saying auto start stop so many times, I realize now how much of a tongue twister it is. I, I feel like they could have come up with a different name for it, but also it's very self-explanatory. So like trying to say auto start stop five times fast would be really hard. Auto start stop, auto start stop, auto stop. <laughs> I can't even say it, but let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think they should rename this technology or what should they name it? I, I feel like you guys can get creative. Let us know down below.